Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. Okay, so, mind is fresh, hatred is full. I have just finished uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Shibuya Incident. It has ended today, it is Thursday, and my god, I am annoyed right now because nothing is fucking answered. Absolutely nothing has been answered, and I don't know what the fuck is about to happen, but... We're gonna make this video, and there's gonna be a video about a theories of what's to come in the later arcs. Because, surprise, surprise, I still have no idea what the fuck is gonna happen in this manga. Alright, but first off, let's just talk about how our boy Okotsu is back. Yes, sir. Holy shit, that was hype as fuck. Like, his presence made me come. Just so awesome to see him back. And I knew he was gonna come back eventually, right? Because, I mean, he's a very important character. But the thing is, like, he, he like talk, He was talking to Rika, tech, his fiance technically, and, like, the, the queen of curses, right? And I'm just thinking, how the fuck is she alive? Because I thought she moved on in the movie. But I guess not. Like, a theory may be that she actually didn't move on, or, like, she decided to stay because, you know, who wouldn't want to stay with this sexy motherfucker, right? And now, he's all like, oh, uh, fucking Inuma... Like, Skuna cut off Inumaki-senpai's arm. The fuck happened there, right? So, clearly something we missed. But it was probably during Maharagra's fight with Skuna that Inumaki, like, got caught up in some shit. So, he's all like, oh, I will be the designated executioner for Tedori Yuji. He's like, Whoa! So, that was cool. So, obviously, hype fight coming up, right? And, like, looking at the new uh, PV for the upcoming calling game arc, they were showing a panel... And then literally Itadori being all like, I don't, I can't die yet. And it's just like him facing off Okotsu. So it's like, hoo, 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 hoo. So that's going to be really fun to look at. <sighs> so theory number one, Gojo Sensei is going to be evil. All right. That's a cool idea. Like, cause the whole idea that everyone is fucked basically. Cause we, we saw like the three condition. No, it was like four conditions that like showed up. It was like number one. Uh, Geto Sugu is once again recognized uh, for his execution, right? Number two, the pr like fucking president of what you might call it of the what you just call it, or the high school is like fucking kicked out and planned for execution because he was the teacher of Gojo and Suguru, which make no sense. It's like what the fuck? And then Gojo number three was like Gojo is fucking like any attempt to try and save him will lead to your execution so clearly like i think gojo sensei is now a bad guy somehow or is gonna be a bad guy right so it's like oh shit that's crazy if that's the case because then like what's the whole point of like this fucking shibuya incident where they're trying to save his ass right but i'm thinking because he's gay right he's like his heart's all like oh i it's like my my gay lover is a bad guy now so like to save his ass i need to be evil so then like eventually i could save his soul or whatever i don't know all right <laughs> but that's a theory and then the fourth condition was like the uh, proper execution of itadori yuji right under fucking okotsu and so it's like whoa that's cool that's cool and it's raw all right so shit's going down i have no idea what the fuck is about to happen we still don't have no idea where the fuck Mucky went. All right, Mucky's definitely gonna come back. Has to, right? Because otherwise, her entire character has no fucking meaning. Or maybe she pulls up, fucks up, uh, Okotsu. Ooh, that would be cool. She pulls up, fucks him up, and he's like, what are you doing to my, like, Kohai? And then she's like, oh, maybe. That would be dope. Oh, shit, that would be dope. And then, or, like, Panda pulls up and just fucks him up, too. Or they're all protecting him. Because, like, clearly, it's like, I don't understand why... Okotsu is, like, trying to, like, work under, like, the, whatever the fuck, the higher-ups, right? Because, like, in the first time, in, like, movie Zero, it was, like, what was it? Gojo Sensei was just all, like, hey, yo, like, you know about this guy, Todori Yuji. It was, like, I don't know. <sighs> My brain is all frazzled. I have no idea what the fuck is about to happen. I don't even know why I'm recording this video, because, like, I'm probably gonna binge read all of JJK in, like, the next three days but but ooh, another theory i mean obviously skuna is gonna come back somehow because what is it he's like missing he has like 15 fingers in him right now <laughs> gay well he needs five more up his ass right so that's gonna happen because i mean he's working under fucking 
well, not Ghetto, but his other guy. I don't even remember his name. So he obviously has the other five fingers. And then he'll just put that up his ass. And then Skuna is going to officially come back. Then I don't, I don't know. Like, a Skuna versus Gojo fight would be dope. But I don't know if that's going to happen. And then, oh, like, I don't understand the purpose of the blonde chick. I always forget her name. But this lady, like, what is, what, what, what purpose does she serve? I don't know what the fuck. Like, she shows up in the second to last episode and was like, hey, let me ask you this question again. Like, what's your type of women? And then, like, proceeds to just act like a fucking goofball. And then just so, like, oh, well, uh, it's like, I'm not actually a good guy? Like, what the fuck do you mean by that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That was such a shit place to end it. I'm actually kind of annoyed because, like, nothing was answered and only more questions were brought up. Oh, I'm pissed. Now I have a purpose to read the manga and I'm excited to learn what the incident is because, to everyone's surprise, I have still managed to avoid every fucking spoiler. It's like, well, besides the fact that I know Maki does eventually show up, but I don't know what she does or, like what she looks like because i mean like last time i saw her she was fucking crispy cream donuts <gasps> anyways i've ranted long enough thanks for watching it's been easy bye <sighs> so i caught up it is 1 30 in the morning my brain is mush, but my fucking god was I wrong <laughs> about everything. I was so wrong about everything. Oh my god. I was so wrong. <laughs> my brain hurts so much. Oh, fuck. Where do I begin? All right. First off, we have to just mention the fact that Jujutsu Kaisen is fucking amazing. It's just hype. And, like, yeah, I will say some of the pages and panels are felt rushed. Because, like, Gege is probably just struggling with, like, getting it out on time. But I don't care. It's a hype story. These panels go hard. The fights are amazing. It's just dope. It's dope and epic. Oh, so like falling at right at the gates from where season two ended, the Shibuya incident, we just go into fucking Okotsu Yuta versus Itadori Yuji, and that was awesome. And then from that, we get to Maki's arc. Maki is the greatest fucking character of all time, and I knew she would be because come the fuck on. If you're gonna introduce this character and then not do anything for her for two fucking seasons. Like, it kind of feels like, why is she there, right? But I knew, I knew, motherfuckers, I knew there was unlimited potential, quite literally, because she is the fucking next Toji. Yes, sir. Gosh, she's so cool and hot. Like, God, oh, it's so cool. My God, the fact she just completely destroys the Zenin clan. Oh, my God. Oh, spoilers, by the way. I should, oh, like, don't worry, though. I'll, I'll mention this beforehand. Oh my god, god dude, so cool. And then following that, the calling game starts, and then we just have, oh my god, god, so cool. I mean, I'm struggling with remembering the names because it's so late and my brain is mush, but this motherfucker, uh, how do, what the fuck is his name? I don't remember, I don't remember his name, and I feel so bad because he has such a cool ability Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. But his fight with Itadori was so cool. It's awesome. And then we just jumped to fucking Megumi fighting fucking paper mache cunt over here. Like, motherfucker uses receipts as his superpowers. Like, no one cares about you, bro. Like, what a fucking loser. Like, god damn it. He was fighting your fucking receipt. <laughs> this receipt cunt. And versus fucking... Uh, wasted potential, bro. My god. Oh my god, dude. And then from there, we get to fucking Yuta versus 1v4 with four fucking reincarnated. 
like sorcerers like dude how strong can you fucking be god he is op as shit and he should he knows he knows it he just knows it he's all like oh, check me out motherfuckers you get that guy right but we don't see it we got blue ball like that fuck oh my god and it hurt it hurts and then oh god oh my god god fucking damn it oh, so it pisses me off though that fucking okay well i think before what i'm about to talk about what happens next was oh mucky <laughs> as a fucking training arc mid-fight which was so cool like it's awesome how these two random ass characters some dude that wants a katana and some dude that wants to sumo wrestle show up out of fucking nowhere and give maki a training arc mid fight isn't that fucking awesome it's so cool like i didn't even think about that shit happening right and during that fucking training arc we have kamal who's just having his redemption arc right now because god damn it has like Kyoto gang just been a fucking dog like just being dogged on besides Toji like everyone else was just fucking mid I'm s like oh and Mekamoto of course Mekamoto is a fucking cope man he just like he just was badly matched up against Mahito and uh I don't fuck what is his name uh the guy in fucking ghetto's head oh god i'm struggling with the names but even before that we have fucking huckuddy we meet this new guy huckuddy the gambler god so cool he is so cool like <laughs> motherfucker is just oh my god like <laughs> like unlimited potential right there you can just popping off just fucking like man man lives for the thrill of gambling i wish that was me oh but then god we just have some bullshit with fucking skumo yuki like my my fucking god i like in my prediction i was saying how i was like i hope she has her moment and fucking does something right and she does she has her moment and it's like oh fuck you get i don't i need to what is his name uh what is his name cusp Oh my god. Okay, no, I need to figure this. Yeah, that one is really good. What the fuck? What what is um the dude in Ghetto's head's name? Kenjaku. 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 Oh my god. Kenjaku. God damn it. All right, basically, fucking like Yuki's all like, huh, "Fuck you, bitch." Black hole because her old power is due to mass, right? And it's like, here's a black hole, you motherfucker. Just tries to consume his ass, but of course, this motherfucker survives. And it's like, God fucking damn it, how? How is he doing this? <laughs> it's like, but it's like supposed to show that he's, like, that he's just an unstoppable force. And I get that, it's fine, right? Oh, and then, oh my fucking God, when I feel so bad for Megumi, Megumi's just getting his, like, he is his his dad basically his fucking dad fucking skuna takes over his body leaves itadori's and then he's just fucking everybody up but then oh my god the angel's so cool with fucking jacob's ladder <laughs> laser beam everywhere like all right i predicted none of this shit all right everything i'm saying is not even happening because after that of course i knew fucking all right i knew that uh, gojo was gonna come back because i mean the nod when shit like it's been everywhere like everyone knows that it's like i've seen that panel everywhere all right so i'm like all right he's gonna come back right and he comes back and there's one of the fucking greatest fights greatest fights of all times like god damn it skuna versus gojo was one of the hypest shonen fights in so long and it's just dope it's just fucking epic like you just see these two motherfuckers going at it to each other. And then, oh my god, mother of god. Like, five domain expansion, five Yoriki guys, And then, like, just, just going at it it's still? And it's like, fucking ruptured frontal lobe? And it's still going at it? Like, what? What's the meaning of this, right? And then, and, oh my god, it's so great. But then, oh my god, of course, Itadori just had to be all like, oh my god, he's gonna win. Huge red flag. And then the next chapter opens up with him talking to Geto Sugudu, and you're just all like, oh fucking god. Immediate red flag. Like, and then you just go through the pages. Page. Page. And then you just see this. 
and you just like sitting there in silence and you're like oh my fucking god this is the incident this is the incident i have managed to avoid being spoiled to me for fucking months and i am honestly impressed i've avoided it for this long but my fucking god like damn it dude i can't believe he's fucking dead oh that's crazy but such a good death it's a solid death because you just see that Skuno is him <laughs> like he is just this evil motherfucking like strong enemy that like they just need to beat somehow right and then now like it is i am caught up fully and everything sucks <laughs> except for takaba takaba's the Go, the greatest fucking character of all media in this entire series. All right, I don't care. Maki's great, fucking Okotsu's great, fucking Panda's great. All right, but no one matches up to Takaba. Takaba is the goat. This motherfucker, single-handedly, I want to say he single-handedly beat fucking. I already forgot his name. Kashima. No, what the fuck is his name? Kashima. Oh my god, I already forgot his name. But this guy, like, he single, he honestly beat him. Like, did he fit the, hit the final blow? No, but he managed to distract his ass for so long and, like, just, like, wear him down. And just fucking, like, God, he is the GOAT. And it was so funny. It was hilarious. I was talking to my friends about how apparently a bunch of people hated these chapters because, like, they just didn't understand, like, the form of Japanese comedy. But for me... Like, growing up with that comedy, it was awesome. I was like, oh my god, this is genius. So, God, Takapa's the goat, and God is so cool. Even though he's half naked. Like, God, now I have a new fucking cosplay. I, <laughs> oh, the poor Megumi, man. His sister's dead. He basically killed his sister. Like, God, imagine spending an entire year and a half with the goal of trying to, like, bring your sister back from a coma. So you could just be happy with her, you know, and you're just talking. And then when you when she officially comes back, she is possessed by an evil fucking bitch who is sexually crazed over Skuna. And then Skuna possesses your body and makes you kill your sister. Like, god damn, that's demoralizing. The motherfucker's just dead. He's gone. He's not coming back. Like, I doubt he's coming back. And and I, everyone's dead now. I don't know what's happening anymore. Like, god damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, now I'm officially caught up. I don't know anything now. Except what's the latest chapter. But damn. This is good. This is real good. Do I understand half of it? Not really. Because, I mean, I'm just tired. <laughs> but fuck it's so it's solid it's a solid fucking manga like yeah sure you could hate on the art but sometimes the art's graininess is what makes it good and damn oh okay oh i love takaba <laughs> so fucking funny maki is so hot i want her to step on me anyways it's been yuji thanks for watching